In this video, we will look at what are called inverse functions, or functions that undo functions. In other words, all the work that is accomplished by the first function is undone by the second function, taking us back to where we started. The way we write inverse functions is using the notation f negative 1 of x, meaning f inverse of x. It is important to note that negative 1 is not an exponent. It does not mean 1 over f of x, just like this does not mean f times x. The whole thing is a notation that is interpreted as f inverse of x. If inverse functions undo each other, we can test functions to see if they're inverses by calculating the composition f of g of x and g of f of x. And while the first function might change x, the second will take it right back to x. If both of these simplify to x, we have inverse functions. We might think that these are inverse functions because it looks like they do opposite things. Let's see if one really undoes the other by calculating f of g of x. When we calculate the f of g of x, what we're really saying is we want to plug the g of x into the f function. Grabbing the entire g of x function and plugging it in for x, we end up with 3x, which is now x over 3 plus 8, and we subtract 8. Notice if we start by distributing, in the first term, the 3's divide out, leaving x, plus 3 times 8 is 24, minus 8. However, when we do 24 minus 8, we end up with x plus 16, which is not x like we had hoped. Because we don't get x, we say these are not inverses. Let's take a look at another example where we have to calculate f of g of x and g of f of x to see if they're inverses. Let's start by finding f of g of x. This means we take g and plug it into the f function. The entire g going in for x will give us 5 over x, which is now 5 over x minus 6, plus 3. And then we subtract 3 and add 6 to the whole thing. Notice as we simplify this, the plus 3 minus 3 will subtract out to 0. We now have 5 divided by this fraction. To divide by a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. 5 times the reciprocal, x minus 6 over 5, and then add 6 at the end. You may notice here the 5 divide out, and we have x minus 6 plus 6. And again, you'll notice the 6's will subtract out to 0, leaving just x like we want. It seems to suggest that these are inverses, but to be sure, we need to calculate the other composition, g of f of x. This time, we're going to plug f into the g function. We'll take the entire f function and plug it in for the x and g. This gives us 5 over x, which is now 5 over x minus 3, plus 6, minus 6, and plus 3 at the end. Again, you notice the plus 6 minus 6, subtract out, and again, we're dividing by a fraction. We'll multiply by the reciprocal, x minus 3 over 5, and add 3 at the end. Notice again, the 5's divide out, and we're left with x minus 3 plus 3. Again, the minus 3 plus 3, subtract out to 0, and we're just left with x. Because both of the compositions were able to simplify down to x, we say, yes, these are inverses. f of x and g of x undo the operation of the other function.